I'm not happy and I'm not sad. Hello! Welcome to the first little playlist video that I've done in many moons. A lot has changed. First of all, I live in Philly now. This is me driving in Philly. Oh my god. Figures I'd end up in Philadelphia. And I have to block out my windows for the fear of oh someone's gonna know where I live. Oh, oh big secret, I live in Philadelphia. Look how beautiful it is. I fucking love Philly. Ah! I'm really excited. I have not filmed me in the car in a really long time, and I also have not filmed a playlist video in a really fucking long time. But tis the season of fake vlogmas, aka numbness, aka uploading whatever I want, but more often than I usually do and making personal content again, which I'm kind of scared about, but it's okay. Today, I'm driving back home just for a few hours because I need to get my oil changed at the gynecologist and I need to get my vagina checked at the um, mechanic. So it's a very busy day. Oh my God, my hair's fucking long. That's crazy. So much has changed. I think the last time that I did a playlist video, I had no hair, bald, full on bald era. Doesn't matter, we're back. And with a winter playlist video, <laughs> I use the liked feature on Spotify the most now. I used to have this mass playlist called Faces on the Moon where I have like hundreds and hundreds of songs of just like my favorite songs on there. But I was like, boring, let's just add everything that I like into my liked. When I feel like making a playlist for videos, I'll make one. Also, I'm naked. I'm in my naked era. I bit off all my acrylics yesterday because I was anxious, but also I'm just like back in my little boy area. I mean, era. In general though, I don't like make big playlists because if I have the aux, which I always do because I am always the person driving out of my friend group, which is fine because I have control issues, so I need to drive. If I'm the person driving, I'm putting on my liked playlist and I'm shuffling that bitch, whether you like it or not. You have no say, you're not behind the wheel. I'm sorry, I have to put on my glasses at least for a little bit because you don't want me to be blind and die on the road for a vlog, that's pathetic. When I make these playlist videos, I make small little playlists, like little time capsules of this time in my life, a certain mood, a certain theme, usually a season, and they're short intentionally so that they can fit in a fucking video and also because if you want more, then you just have to have access to my liked playlist. If you want to have access to my liked playlist, then you have to come sit in my car. So, a few years ago, I called my winter playlist, Winter, I hardly know her. This one's just labeled Winter for now because I haven't updated it yet. What am I gonna call it? Hey, what's up? What should I call my winter playlist? Like, what is funny? Like, what is like, like a good pun? You're good at that. Um, 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 I'll, I'll try to think, but I'm, I don't know, I'm frazzled. No help. Okay, we're gonna call this playlist. I might change it by the time that this video comes out. There's no promises. Anyway, you have sat in my car, unfortunately. You've heard all of these songs. The vibe is cool, the vibe is chill, and we're trying to add more women onto our fucking playlist because do you know the severe, sheer embarrassment that I felt when like for the sixth year in a row, my Spotify wrapped has no women on it because I'm a little, misogynistic asshole without even realizing it like I didn't even intend to do I never intend to do that it's not like I intentionally don't listen to women it's not like I intentionally am like seeking out like I'm not gonna listen to a woman today like I fucking love women I love women we know that something sick something evil something sinister is inside of me and it's unfortunate that I like male manipulator music I'm working on it I started going back to therapy and that's the first thing that I'm working on. That's not true. A brief word from our sponsor. My nighttime skincare routine has essentially become like a ritual to me and is very sacred in my eyes. It's my time, not anyone else's time, okay? Some people feel like their time is when they're like using the toilet. Like me too, but it's mainly just like when I'm doing my skincare routine. I don't answer texts, I don't answer calls. My cats are not allowed in here. That's why the door is shut. One of the most important steps of my skincare routine is Curology. And that's why I want to thank today's sponsor, Curology. I said no cats. I literally said that this is me time. If you've been watching my channel for a while, it's no secret. Curology has been a constant in my routine for like the last three years or so. It's cool because my custom formula has changed over time because I'm getting older. 
so my skin is evolving and changing over time. My skin goals have changed, so my custom formula has changed. I've been very open about my problem with OCD and skin picking, and with skin picking can come dark spots, blemishes, clogged pores, and more breakouts. So it's nice that I can talk to my dermatology provider about my goals, and then they can create a custom formula made for me based off of that. The skincare provider has full decision-making power over the prescribed product, which honestly I prefer because when I try and pick my own ingredients and own skincare products, I honestly usually choose products that are way too harsh for my skin, and that's because I'm not a dermatology provider. I don't know what I'm doing. Obviously, one of my favorite products is the custom formula. After I wash my face, I just add a pump to my skin. This is mommy time. I've really been liking this new formula. <laughs> I feel like my skin has also been getting used to it and liking it as well. Also, another favorite product of mine is the emergency spot patches. I use this whenever I have like an active breakout and I put this on before the custom formula and just leave it on overnight. And then within a few hours, it's like, it's crazy what it absorbs. <laughs> I always keep an acne body wash, always stocked in my shower. I've been working out a lot lately and sweating a lot. This comes in handy. So if you were thinking about starting your own Curology journey today, you can click the link in my description. Subscription is required and subject to consultation. Thank you, Curology. Speaking of women, the first song is Girlfriend by Hemlock Springs because it's a beautiful song. When you're around the gather with me, yeah. I fucking love Miss Hemlock Springs. I'm telling you right now, 2023, she's going to absolutely blow up. She already has. You got the oh, of cool. But well, you should know I like it hot. Only to find out that she only has two public songs. She's incredible. You're my one and only fan. Oh she's funny. She has creative ass music videos. She produces her own music. She writes her own music. It just what an immaculate little woman. Oh my god, there's a dead deer. This song makes me think, why don't I listen to women more and why do I listen to men at all? Why, why do I even bother listening to male manipulator music when music like this exists? Hemlock Springs better be on my Spotify rap next year. If she's not in my top five, crucify me. It wasn't really in the plans. Ow! You know when I was wearing this jacket last? I met Julie Casablanca's. <laughs> Next song, Steve Lacey. Someone predicted that Steve Lacey will get canceled for real in 2023. So I'm gonna enjoy the hell out of him while I still have the chance. Yeah! I love Steve Lacey. I wanted to see him in concert so bad if tickets were not $900, so. Also, if the crowd didn't suck. <laughs> All of his music reminds me of my road trip to Boston, which I took a little road trip to Boston to visit my boyfriend a few months back. And it was a great trip other than like me stopping like every hour because I don't know how to plan out road trips. And I was like pissing and shitting and like having to eat every, I need to stop. Sometimes I hate you, sometimes you kill. Every few minutes I was like, mm, it'd be so nice if I took a stop. Oh, it's so scenic around here. Music reminds me of me taking a pit stop to poop in Connecticut. Beautiful, beautiful places to poop on the side of Connecticut, let me tell you that much. Like, oh my god, I'm in the mother country. I'm in Poland right now. I'm shitting in Poland right now. I'm, I'm literally just in Connecticut. Can I just say, every little short song that is on every album, every little song that's like a minute and 30 seconds long, or like two minutes long, they're always the best. Whenever I get on the turnpike, I always smile. My mom told me I should. Um, she always goes, smile for Joe Biden. I've had a, too many interactions with Joe Biden, okay? Joe Biden and I are friends. What can I say? I'm actually the reason for the student loan forgiveness. You guys are welcome. One time I tried driving past Joe Biden's house in Delaware, in Rehoboth Beach, because uh, he lives there. And I was, I was at the beach. Possible, because there's a bunch of sexy ass, what are they called? What are those people called? 
Secret Service. Damn, something's wrong with me. I'm, I take my vitamins. I take quite a lot. Joe Biden has the sexiest Secret Service I've ever seen in my entire life. And I haven't seen a lot of Secret Service men in my day, but they are beautiful. I'm, I'm sure he personally hired them himself too. They literally looked like Abercrombie models lined up and they were like, absolutely not, you're not getting down this road. I was like, whatever you say. Next song is a little slow song called Kinky Love by Pale Saints. This is just a beautiful little slow song. Reminds me of Cocktoo Twins. Yeah, Kinky Love! I found this on the drive home actually from Delaware at one point. I was driving home from watching my friend Jake and Rocky Horror and two different albums came out that night. Taylor Swift Midnights and Arctic Monkeys The Car. Unfortunately, I gave both of those a pass and listened to Kinky Love instead. Was not disappointed. Yeah, Kinky Love! This is like the most perfect like winter song. Does that song just remind you of Gilmore Girls? Not the lyrics, not the name of the song. I feel so much less elegant without my acrylics like push up my glasses. Like before I was like, oh my God, such a beautiful long manicured acrylic red nailed woman just pushing up my glasses. And now it's like a literal four year old boy, like snot covered on his face and like smells like a rotten cheesesteak. It's like pushing up my glasses. Anyway, sorry that that's the way that I think of you, but. Yeah! Okay, <laughs> I forgot what is even on this playlist because I made this a little while ago with the intention of making this video. I love Jonathan Richmond. This also reminds me of Boston and stopping and, 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 and going to the bathroom a lot. But anyway, I love the song I Was Dancing the Lesbian Bar by Jonathan Richmond. It was in Euphoria season two. See, this is the issue. I hold very specific memories in association to music very dear and near to my heart. I remember when I first listened to this song, I was hanging up a shelf above my toilet. I can tell you right now that that shelf is not in the wall securely. There's huge holes behind it. It doesn't matter because I want to stay in that apartment for longer, so it's not going to be anyone else's problem. Plus, I fucking spackle exists. Well, I love those hot nights when a t-shirt feels right. You stay. I probably shouldn't be saying this on the internet. When my lease said don't put holes in the walls, I was like, you will never know because spackle exists. You will never find out. It doesn't matter. That's unrealistic to expect me to not put a single hole in the fucking wall. Anyway. Oh. 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 This song reminds me of putting fucking holes in my wall, but not in like an angry, like 15 year old boy punching the wall type of way. But in a, I try to hang up a shelf above my toilet and failed miserably. I love hot what was a girl supposed to do? A lot of hot nights when your radiator is blasting and you, you don't get to control it because your apartment regulates the temperature inside your apartment. I was like, ooh, I love hot nights. I love boiling in December. Dry air, I need a humidifier right by my bed or else my face is gonna crack in half. Mm, I love hot nights. Mm. Yeah. I love hot nights. I fucking forgot my karaoke microphone. Damn it. This video could have been 10 times more annoying and 10 times more insufferable and unwatchable. Fuck. This next song is a garden song because I love the garden. <laughs> the garden was above the strokes on my Spotify rap this year, which some people did find sacrilegious. However, I'm like, they came out with a new album. Like, I needed to be ready for their tour. I saw two of their shows on tour. It was incredible. Yes, someone pissed. Yes, it smelled bad, but it was a good time. I was not one of those people who pissed or smelled bad. I can guarantee you that. I do really love The Garden, though, and this is probably one of my favorite songs on the entire album. It makes me want to cry, which is fucking stupid because once you hear the song, you're gonna be like, how do you cry to this song? I 
I don't have answers. I'm the same bitch who cried to say so by Doja Cat a few years ago. I don't have many answers. Oh my god. You know when sometimes you just like watch how people are driving and you're like, damn. Like you shouldn't be allowed to. I'm not one of those people, I'm perfect. But um I remember the garden was actually featured on one of my playlist videos many, many, many moons ago when I like didn't even know who they were. I just liked them because Mac DeMarco was in the song and I was like, okay, we can't listen to the ad because there's too much screaming. And now I'm like an avid fan of them. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really like the ending. It's just a lot of screaming. I can understand how one would like it, but that one is just not me. Yeah. I always think about what I'm gonna eat when I go home, and I'm telling you right now, it's gonna be poor life. Next song is very cute. I want the cover as like a print in my home, or maybe like a vinyl. Boys don't cry. The cure. Oh, oh, oh. about the last time that I cried. It's very difficult to cry on some SSRIs. And like, that's like kind of fun because I used to be a big crier. I used to cry all the fucking time. Don't cry. I knew a kid in elementary school that his mom would give him five bucks a day for every day that I didn't cry. I'm, I'm not that kid, I just know a kid who did that. I was envious of him, but I, at the same time, I was like, I am not gonna make any fucking money because I'm gonna sob all the damn time. Oh, SSRIs make it really hard to cry. You're like edging, edging to cry. Boys don't cry. It's almost like I get excited when I'm actually able to cry because I'm like, oh my god, I finished. <laughs> Next song is "End of the Beginning" by Joe. I fucking love Joe. I had my little Joe Curie obsession because of Stranger Things like every other bitch, but it doesn't help that he makes good music. Like, you know what I mean? It's not like, it's not bad music at all. It's very good music. You take the man out of the... Yeah. I'm just thinking about how I'm gonna walk into the Kia dealership with cowboy boots on. I feel it. I'm gonna walk into the gynecologist with cowboy boots on. Let's be serious. Another version of me. Howdy, let me spread them open. Let's do this pap smear. Look at this rest stop to my right, to my left, to look at it. Okay, everybody take a nice little peek, okay? Look at the little rest stop, okay? Are you looking? Are you looking at that rest stop? Do you see it? Do you see it? Let me tell you a story about that fucking rest stop, okay? But when I was in high school, I worked at Schmidt's Italian Ice. I remember it was so fucking competitive for like 10th and 11th graders to be like, how much money do you make, huh? How much money do you make? How many hours do you get at, at work, huh? How many hours do you get? Like, as if that fucking mattered. I was like, oh, I don't know. And this girl who worked at that rest stop was like, oh yeah, well, I get like 30 hours a week. Yeah, and I get paid like $10 an hour. Oh, you only make 7.25? That sucks, I make like 10. She's talking about how much money she makes. It's like, I make so much fucking money. I make overtime. I make so much money. I, I, I get overtime. I'm like, really? That's crazy. Good for you. But also like, fuck child labor laws, right? This girl pissed me off so bad because she was, she was getting competitive with me about me working at Rita's Italian Ice and her working at Starbucks and how much more money she made than me. Like, okay, get over yourself. We're like fucking 15 years old. We shouldn't be working this many hours in the first place. Anyway, every single time I pass by that rest stop, I think about her. I hope she's doing well. I don't think she is, but anyway. Uh, 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 uh. Next song is Dream Dealer by Idress. It's a beautiful song. It's, it's, this is winter. This is what winter sounds like. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I love Cocktoo Twins. Cherry colored funk. Like this is a winter song and you cannot tell me any different. Guys, should we get core life and play the safe route? 
should get Chipotle and me risk seeing someone I may know. Mm. What do we do? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, always been like my recovery food. I think it's because I'm trauma bonded to it because I worked there for four years. So with migraines, you get this thing like called migraine cravings. It's very strange because when you have a migraine, you're extremely nauseous, but you're also like craving one specific food. At least I do. And for me, usually, a lot of the time, that food is Chipotle. I don't know if it's because of the salt in it or what it is, but I'm just like, oh, this will heal me. When I was in college and I didn't know how to fucking pace myself and I was a stupid little bitch and like the very few times that I was hungover, I'm talking about like one or two times, the only food I wanted afterwards was Chipotle. That's all I wanted. <laughs> I still use my cat bag all the fucking time. A bitch will be back. And maybe with, um, uh, what's that, Space Cowboy uh, eyeshadow? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Ah! <laughs> well, let me pull my car forward because how dare someone park next to me? It's really embarrassing. I'm trying to vlog. <gasps> no! This woman just parked next to me. This is so embarrassing. I don't live here anymore. I have nothing to worry about. Uh, good news. They had one less space cowboy at Ulta. And I really wanted it and I'm so happy. Now that I have a cat named Cowboy, I needed an eyeshadow named Space Cowboy. How could I not? Should I put it on before my gynecologist appointment so that they're like, oh my God, beautiful eyeshadow. <gasps> I should put it. I'm not gonna put it inside of me. Next song is Silver Line by Sheer Mag. I fucking love this song. 